Well guys, I don't know where the heck this wind came from, but hopefully it doesn't get too bad. We are back out on the range testing the new and improved heavier rubber band ball. I can't even get it in frame. There we go. 50 pounds of rubber band right here. The last time we shot it, or the first time we shot it, it was like 15 pounds, so quite a bit bigger. Here's my head next to it. This thing is massive. Here's the idea. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will know that I have like 50 pounds more of rubber bands. So I, ha I have enough to get this thing to 100 pounds. Today, I thought we'd test the 50 pounder up against a few different bullets and see which ones this thing stops and see which bullets can go through. So here we go. So here's what I got lined up and I don't know how far up the line of bullets we're gonna make it, but I'm gonna start out with the 22, then the nine millimeter, five seven by 28, the 223, the 308, and the 50 cal. Hopefully we make it to the 50 cal, but it's, it's hard to say, honestly, how far up the line we're gonna get. So 50 pounds really isn't that heavy, but this thing is just girthy and huge, and it feels a lot heavier than it is, and it's just awkward to carry. Last time I shot the rubber band ball, I couldn't tell that the bullets were actually going through until afterwards, and I went and looked at the footage. This time to help out with that, I've got it set up where behind it is some cardboard. That way, if and when the bullets do go through, I'll be able to tell 100% with the cardboard if any of the bullet got through, so. I also forgot my GoPro to set down there so it's just going to be a bunch of back and forths here we go 22 long rifle this goes through we're really in trouble looks like i hit right there somewhere did it go through i don't see anything on my cardboard box that makes me think that it did not go through so that's good i figure i can get pretty close with this one 115 grain full metal jacket nine millimeter here we go here we go there's my hit, 22, nine millimeter, and nothing on the back side. So still looking good. Something a little bit faster, 5.7 by 28, which is a whole lot better at penetrating than the nine millimeter. This one's a little bit harder to tell, hit right there. 22, nine millimeter, 5.7 by 28, and Nothing back here. Nothing on the cardboard. So we are still in good shape. Doing pretty good so far. This is where it gets interesting. Two, two, three, extremely fast. This is where I get nervous. I hit a little bit low on that one. Right there, nine millimeter, no, 22, nine millimeter, five, seven, 28, two, two, three. Let's check the back. Still nothing on that box. Absolutely no marks. It would have been down here a little bit lower because of how low that shot was, but absolutely nothing. So far, so good. I was nervous about the 223 the, with the AR. This one I am nervous about. 308, big bullet, moving fast. I don't know. Hopefully it stops it. I don't actually know where I hit. It's doing that thing where I probably hit and it's just contracting so I can't see it. Let's check out the back here. Still nothing on that box. So it is safe to say that this thing did stop the 308, but the 50 cal, I still think it's going through. I do. I don't think it's stopping it at all. I don't think 50 pounds is enough. We will find out here in just one second. So here's a quick little size comparison of that rubber band ball and the 50 cal. It's huge. This thing is huge, but this is also huge. And I think it's going through 100%. This does, or even if it does not go through, I'm still making the 100 pound rubber band ball. Does not look good. Does not look good. It knocked everything over. It was sitting on here, had some wood supporting the box. Oh boy, yep. There's the box, there's the hole. So let's find these holes somewhere. You see what I mean though? How hard it is to find the holes on this thing? Even that exit wound, like there should be a huge hole, but there's not. Okay, I think that right there is the entrance wound. Seeing an exit hole. Okay, pretty sure it's right there. Just got covered by good rubber bands. Well guys, there you have it. Rubber band ball, still in one piece. This thing's a beast. 50 cal, even bigger of a beast. So hopefully the next time you see this on a video, it will be 100 pounds. And hopefully the 100 pounds of rubber bands 
and stopped the 50 cal because that's what we're after. 50 pounds stopped everything else. 22 all the way up to 308. So that was pretty impressive, but the 50 cal is what we're after. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be here in probably a couple months, honestly. It takes me a while to put these rubber bands on. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to share it. Um, but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.